What is draft beer, and how is draft beer made? There is a major difference between every beer type, and while talking draft beer or draft beer, there is an even larger difference between bottled and draft beer. What does draft beer mean? Draft beer is a beer stored in a keg or cask. The word draft originates from the word dragon, which is an old English word and means to carry or pull. Most countries, as New Zealand, Ireland, UK, and Australia, pronounce and spell it as draught, while Northern America pronounces it a draft. By the time the beer engine became popular, the term draught was used as a term for the act of serving or drinking beer, and afterward transferred to the beer served via the hand pump. History of draft beer. It was first in 1936 when artificial carbonation was introduced in the UK. This method had left its mark in Europe, where it quickly became the preferred method, where from the carbonation method afterwards spread to the rest of the world. The term draught beer became in the early 1970s almost only referred to beer served under pressure. A group in Britain, the Campaign for Real Ale, was in 1971 founded to protect traditional beer and brewing methods. This group came up with the term real ale to differentiate the difference between cask served beer and beer served under pressure. How are draft beers made? Believe it or not, draft beer is made the same way as bottled beer. Draft or draught just means that the beer is stored in a keg or cask and served via the sprout of a beer faucet. The six basic steps in the brewing process. One, first up, the malted grains are crushed to expose their starch inside. Two, afterward the crushed malt grain is added some hot water. The water's temperature is usually around 65 degrees Celsius to 70 Celsius, 150 to 158 Fahrenheit. After the mashed grains are mixed with hot water, it's now called mash. When the grains are mashed, it activates the enzymes that are already present in the grain, so they turn the starches into simple sugars that can be fermented by the brewing yeast. 3. After the conversion of the starch is done, the sugar comes out of the grains by rinsing once again with water. Four. After completing the sparging previous step and an appropriate amount of the wort is collected, the wort is then boiled in a kettle. This boil is very important because this is where the hops are added for flavor and bitterness. 5. When the boiling is completed, the wort is cooled down to around fermentation temperature and is transferred into a fermentation vessel. This is also where you add the yeast. 6. Now the yeast fermentation is going to go through two different stages primary fermentation, active fermentation, and secondary fermentation, maturation. The primary fermentation is where the CO2 bubbles and the secondary fermentation is where the yeast converts fermentation byproducts into non-offensive compounds. Easy, right?